Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey guys, Coach Kurt. So this video is going to be uh, an arrest or two different arrests uh, using your classic Taiho Jitsu Hapkido type techniques in the field. For years, I've always done videos on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Krav Maga, your MMA based combatives and control tactics. Love it. We'll always love it and you'll always see it on the channel. But I'm trying to uh, revisit my roots, uh, show your more traditional Taiho Jitsu, Hapkido stuff, like what you're seeing on the screen right now. This is a uh, traditional Taiho Jitsu practiced in the dojo in a classic form. It's, it's, it's really effective um, when taken in context and used in modern techniques or modern policing uh, if you appro approach it correctly. So this video is based on that. Uh, some basic, uh, a lot of Sankyo, um, that's my favorite technique, so you'll see a lot of that in the video. But your, your typical goosenecks and sh uh, shoulder locks and come along holds and twist locks, that kind of stuff, you're going to see that in the video incorporated with your typical come along and uh, uh, handcuffing and so forth against resistive uh, criminals. Angry, drunk, resistive criminals, you get the idea. So please do not take anything out of context. These are people who uh, were resisting, not following uh, lawful commands, and needed to be dealt with. This individual, I ended up using a Sankyo or a twist lock on. He had a big hunk of metal in his hand. This was a DUI. Uh, my partner was running him in the vehicle uh, before we did SFSTs. But uh, he had this big metal vape in his hand. I said, dude, you got to put that away. I don't want it in your hand. It's a... Uh, possible weapon he says no he pulls it away and then he blows the vape smoke in my face and i was like i've had enough of this crap so i grab him up in a twist lock classic way to do it in the field no fuss no muss no injury to the individual complete control of them put them down over the hood car put them down hard enough where the uh, uh vape metal vape flew out of his hand under the hood here's an example of uh, how you could use sankyo and here's another example. These are just classic trainings. You see these clips in my videos before. This is a classic way and how to approach it. The previous was one was defense against a rear naked choke using Sankyo. I've done that in a roll. I've used that in jujitsu in a roll, so it does work. Uh, I've done this Sankyo in the field many times. It's just over the years, uh, you know, it's just hard to capture this kind of stuff on video. Once the case is adjudicated, the video is usually destroyed or uh, done away with because it's no longer needed. Uh, this individual is a t uh, criminal that's always being always being arrested. He's drunk. He's disorderly. He was trespassing. He's got domestic violence in his past. He has fighting the police in his past. He's always a fighter. He's always a jerk. Uh, cussing, swearing, spitting, and kicking. He, all that in this video. He's been given multiple warnings. You need to turn around. The cuffs are going on you. You're under arrest. And when I showed up, the officer was like, okay, now let's get him under arrest. Uh, I use, again, twist lock. Bam. Hold him down across the hood. Guys, I don't know how many times I've done that in my career where it's just so effective. It doesn't hurt them in any way, shape, or form. It controls them. It locks out the arm. Yeah, it's painful, but it's the physical locking of the arm. I mean, they can't resist it. And then we put them in handcuffs. No fuss, no muss, no injuries. He's... Uh, we're asking him, are you going to cooperate? And he's like, well, why wouldn't I cooperate? Well, because you haven't been cooperating. Again, this guy's got a long, long history of resisting arrest, fighting the police, domestic violence, drunk and or disorderly. In this case, he was drunk and disorderly and trespassing and not leaving someone's property. Uh, this is where things start getting interesting. His wife walks up, and she's not interfering in any way, shape, or form, but she's scolding him quite fiercely, and it stirs him up. We're like, man, come on, man, you're stirring him up. Um, so we, we're trying to get him in the back of the patrol car, and he starts uh, pushing back against the, cop, uh, f the other cop. So I go around and use the mandibular angle. At least that's not what I was planning on doing. I was just going to pull him through. But then he starts kicking the officer. He's, he sits down like he's supposed to, but then he bucks his feet up and starts kicking the officer. So I use a classic mandibular angle as I teach her control tactics. This is a perfect example of when you could use it. And I pull him through the back of the patrol car. Again, no injuries, 
no permanent damage. It's just very painful. So you get compliance. Even as drunk as he was, he was get, he was complying, and it worked beautifully. Guys, this stuff works. You just have to use it and. Uh, properly when you're supposed to use it and in context use it appropriately and you have to train it enough that it comes meant uh, mentally natural you just do it when you need to do it and uh, you can roll with the punches as it were and so forth <clears throat> so we're going to trust uh, transport him to the jail or not the jail the holding at the at the local pd to do the paperwork he was kicking and screaming and and the whole way there trying to kick the window out of the back of the patrol car but it has bars on it thank goodness but uh i pull him out and i use end up having to use the gooseneck on him again a perfect example of when you'd use these type of joint locks in law enforcement um he's uh not wanting to walk he's not cooperating see so the other officers doing your your guided touch or your you know your come along just by holding him by the arm and i'm using the gooseneck in conjunction with walking him the way we need him to go through the door to the holding cell and he's he's he starts resisting again so i have to increase the the pain compliance and he starts cooperating again you're you're using these these uh joint locks to get them to cooperate with you to follow your orders is an objectively reasonable way to use these techniques um Again, he was cussing and swearing and spitting and pissy, pissy, pissy. That's why I did this video without the sound. It, I tried to edit it with, uh, with he was just cussing and swearing and being such a loud jerk that I just, uh, YouTube is not going to like this. So I thought, I'm just going to edit it, uh, take the sound out, and I'm going to narrate. Uh, this, we finally, I think he's getting exhausted at this point. We tell him to roll over on his stomach. He's not going to do it. So, uh, we're like, we got to take the cuffs off you. We want to take the cuffs off you because we don't just let them lay there for the next hour we, we do paperwork with the cuffs on. You know, it could maybe cut off circulation, what have you. So we roll them over in the stomach, and I end up doing a, a, a figure four knee lock. No injuries, but very effective way to control somebody's lower body, and I end up incorporating a toe hold. In this case, I'm just using leverage on the end of his foot, and then I transition to a toe hold. You can't really see it because my body cam points down to the leg, but it's a toe hold. And this is a great way to hold somebody down in this type of situation, and uh, it just keeps them from rolling over and uh, trying to hurt you. Uh, and then we just backed out of the cell, and he was able to do his thing. Well, his thing was kicking, punching, and, and slamming uh, the inside of the cell. He was trying to uh, kick the, break the sink, tri break the toilet. Luckily, he wasn't able to do it. So, uh, so we ended up getting him on his stomach again and put him in handcuffs because now we're taking him to the county jail. Paperwork's done. It's uh, like a good hour away. That's why we went to the PD first to get the paperwork done. Uh, again, you know I work rural, so uh, middle of nowhere type situation we're not in the middle of nowhere just small town usa uh and far away from the county jail in the bigger city so we're putting the handcuffs on uh had to use a uh, gooseneck again as you saw to get him to bring his other arm up he wouldn't do it so i used the gooseneck to get to compliance that he like follow my orders and uh, I use reasonable objective force to get him to follow my orders. Again, these joint locks are perfect for that. And a lot of times they just aren't being taught in modern law enforcement anymore. They used to be a really big thing. I love that jujitsu and MMA is a huge part of control tactics in law enforcement today. Love it. Think it's great. But you can't overlook these joint locks. They're super helpful. Uh, your your modern Taiho Jitsu should still be incorporated in control tactics. It's just that we only have eight hours a year. Yeah, some agencies more, some agencies less, but it's still way short of the time they should be training weekly, not, you know, twice a year for four hours a session. So for a total of eight, that's what my agency does. It's It's just grossly not enough hours. But again, he's cussing and swearing, and we're going to roll him on his side and stand him up and walk him out to the patrol car. Uh, he was a jerk all the way to the jail, too, but that's neither here or there. Um, this was just me trying to give you a taste of how these things would be used in in the real-world police work. Um, I'm still a huge fan of using the you know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu-based style takedowns, the soft takedowns that I talk about in all my other videos, but I just want to show you just how important these joint manipulation techniques are and you've got to train them just as much as your other stuff anyway 
I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted to give you a small taste. Uh, I'll try to do more of this kind of stuff along with the jujitsu based stuff. I'm going to start doing more of the Hapkido and the Taiho Jitsu based stuff because I think that it's important to represent uh, all aspects of control tactics, not just one side or the other. Um, if anyone has any questions, desires, or recommendations, or hey, I want to see this or I want to see that, let me know and uh, I will put together a video. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Everybody take care, stay safe, and again, uh, like, subscribe, and share, and please send me your recommendations or your request. All right, everybody, take care, bye. Let's roll. Hey, let's be careful. Uh,